once again viewers and today is going to be system test number two and my junkie shed yep i got a couple of new alarms at christmas that i've been wanting to show off i just haven't got to it and i have another a new fire alarm a new bell which is not on the system it's a 120 volt bell and i'm gonna be um not refurbishing, but um, restoring it back to normal this summer. And I got a new a Firelight, if you check my Instagram, a Firelight BNG1, or not Firelight, but a Notify BNG1, um, right before Christmas too, on eBay, brand new. Um, so yeah, let's go off, start off with the pull stations. This is most common pull station. It's a Firelight BG12L uh, key lock. And then up here, follow the wire, I have a wheel lock exceeder, which is a piece of old duct tape over the horn because I'm shed neighbors, you know, don't want to freak anybody out. Haven't had anybody get angry or call anybody yet, but yeah, it's set on low volume, uh, 1575 Candela. Yep, so let's go ahead and pull it. So, well, let me get my keys. It's going to be quick. First, let's open it up. Let's open the pull station up and see. It's on code 3, the exceeder is. Alright, let's take a look. Fire light alarms. This is the push and pull in. And the action is it pushes in right there. This is kind of like a door that swings. Uh, your, your switch right here. Okay. Shut that. Oops. Alright, let's pull it in three. Oh yeah, and if you have epilepsy or any photo, uh, photo flashy light kind of thing, uh, look away to the, um, from the video now until I say so otherwise. So here we go. In three, two, one. Alrighty, system test number two. Now oh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.